Hey, God bless you. It's such a joy for me to be with you all today. Thank you so much for coming in. Just want to declare God has amazing things in store for you as well. I think most of you would have checked out the other parts of my sermon series based on the Titanic. Uh, and I actually concluded it on the fourth part saying, you know, this is going to be the final part. But I apparently missed out one important intricate part that we can all learn from the Titanic. And I think uh, we need to focus on this important issue because this is something that many people have not spoken of. Um, and I think you need to pay attention to this as, as well. See, one of the most popular beliefs with regard to the Titanic is that the Titanic sank by hitting the iceberg. Without a doubt, yes, the Titanic did sink because it hit an iceberg, but is that all to it or there was something more to it than what meets the eye? You know, probably the iceberg uh, being the reason or the cause why the Titanic sank could just be uh, what you see on the outside, the surface level uh, issue, that, but there is much more beneath it than what meets the eye. You know, when you talk about an iceberg, what you see on the surface is just a small one-tenth of the big mountainous iceberg that actually uh, lies there. But same way, you need to understand why did the ship sink is not so much so about just an iceberg, but there was more to it than what met the eye. And coming to what I'm trying to say is, you know, do you know that the ship's real reason for sinking was not just the iceberg, but there was a fire on the ship? Yes, you caught my attention, right? We always spoke about the ship hitting an iceberg and sinking, but there was a reason behind this, okay? There was actually a fire on the ship which lasted for several days, and it had uh, went to an extent where the ship was unfit to set sail uh, on the 10th of April 1912. But due to various reasons, uh, they had to go ahead with the sh ship uh, setting sail from Southampton to New York on 10th of April 1912 because uh, there was a coal strike and then there was shortage of uh, crew members and there was a uh, reason all the other ships had uh, been cancelled and the Titanic had to go, otherwise they're going to be uh, incurring a huge loss. So they w had to do something about this. This sh fire that lasted for several days actually caused a huge dent on one part, the starboard side of the ship, to an extent that the material on the outside of the ship had lost 70% of its strength. So there was a huge mark on the ship because of this fire and the ship was literally unfit to set sail on that day. But due to all the very reason that I just shared with you, they had to go ahead with this ship, uh, uh, made an attempt. So what they did was they turned the ship to the other side so that people on the port could not see the huge dent on the ship. They could not see the huge mark. It was covered up from people, so nobody could see the fire or the consequence of the fire. Nobody even knew about all these things. So they, they literally covered everything up and looked at, uh, and it looked so beautiful when people looked at it from the port side. So everybody thought, man, this is the ship of dreams. Everybody thought, man, this ship is so perfect. Everything is so good about it. But they had actually covered up a big issue with the ship. And the long story made short, the ship, when it collided with the iceberg, the iceberg hit the exact part or the portion of the ship that had lost 70% of its strength. And that was what caused the ship to, you know, uh, rapture right on this maiden attempt and, you know, water started gushing in and the rest was history. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is, you may ask, you know, what about the Titanic, what, what the ship sinking because of a fire or an iceberg, what's that got to do with my everyday life? I'm going to explain this to you. You know, many of us are living a life like this. You know, we have more dirt on the inside, but we're just covering it up and painting on the outside to make it look like everything is fine. We wear nice clothes, we put makeup, we do everything to look like, you know what, I'm good, I'm beautiful, I'm fine, everything is good on the outside. But you need to understand, you know, just because everything looks good on the outside doesn't mean everything is good on the inside. You know, you may cover everything up. You know, you may do things that you're not supposed to do. You may think thoughts that you're not supposed to think. You may, uh, you know, be involved in things that you know you're not supposed to do according to your conscience and according to the standard of God's word. You know you're not supposed to do that. But you're living a life of double standard. You are covering everything up and, you know, making yourself look like, you know, I'm very good. I'm holier than thou. I'm very holy. I, I, I'm very 
very, um, you know, you, you uh, draw a totally different picture of yourself from the outside and people are just falling for you. They are impressed. They are like, oh my goodness, you're so good. They cannot even imagine that you could be having all those negative things on the inside. Am I speaking to somebody here? You know, I'm talking to people who are living a double standard life. I'm talking about people who are, you know, uh, concealing their sin. The scripture talks about in Proverbs uh, 28, 13, he who conceals his sin will not prosper. You may think, you know what, I, I've covered everything up. I uh, ensure that nobody saw the fire. Nobody knew about the fire. Everybody, nobody saw the burns because of the fire. I c covered everything up. Uh, look at me. I was able to... Pr um, cover everything from people but can I tell you something you can fool people you can hide the truth but it's not going to last for long today I'm encouraging each one of you under the sound of my voice you got to be honest you got to be honest with before God you got to be honest with yourself be transparent see when I mean transparent I'm not asking you to go and announce your sins to the whole world I'm not asking you to put a billboard and uh, tell people what or all the things you're up to. I'm not asking you to announce or you know, um, make a big issue and tell everybody what you're going through. Um, that's not what I'm asking you to do. What I'm saying is be transparent before God and be honest about the things that you're dealing with and deal with it. You may think like I can hide away from the truth, but you cannot hide away the truth for long. You can fool people for a while, but you cannot fool God and you cannot keep hiding the truth for long. See, even when we think about the Titanic, uh, when it sank, okay, I don't know how many of you know about this, but after it sank, the media and the news reported saying that, um, you know, there were no casualties, all have survived, and the Titanic is being towed to New York. You know, I think there was fake news media right in those times, I guess. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is they tried to cover everything up and it looked like, you know, everything was fine. And, but they could hide the truth for a couple of days. But on 18th of April, 1912, when Capetia brought all the survivors uh, to New York, the truth had to be announced. The truth came out. See, here's the important thing you need to understand. If you don't deal with the root issues, the root issues will start dealing with you. See, one guy in the scripture called Samson, he had an issue with lust. You know, he thought I can cover it up. Every time he kept falling for it, he thought, okay, I will come out, I will come out, I won't deal with it, I don't have to do anything about it. But last, long story made short, he went about hiring women and ended up losing his eyesight in the end. See, if you don't deal with your root issues, your root issues will start dealing with you. If Titanic had dealt with that issue of, you know, the material be losing 70% of its strength, you know, it wouldn't have gone through the consequence it went through when it hit the iceberg. See, today you may think like I'm, everything is fine, but you never know when an iceberg is going to come. So you got to be prepared and you got to deal with your root issues. You never know when you're going to lose your eyesight. It's time you can start dealing with your root issues. So today, my, in conclusion, I just want to tell you this short encouraging word. You know, be transparent and be honest about yourself. You know, whatever issues you're dealing with, uh, start uh, asking God to reveal what are the issues. You know, you may think, you know, I'm not sinning big, I'm not murdering anybody, I'm not uh, committing adultery, but, you know, God's standards is very uh, different from what we think is sin. You know, even if you eye somebody, it's equivalent to sin. You know, it's, it's equivalent to committing adultery. If you hate someone, it's equivalent to, um, you know, murdering them. And if you have bitterness, if you have procrastination, if you have lust, if you have uh, anything in the world as a root issue that you think you need to deal with, I encourage you to do it today. You know, no matter what, learn from the Titanic. You know, they try to cover everything up and put the blame on others or, you know, you can do all that for a while, but the truth will surface. So today, my simple truth is these two simple points. You know, point number one, be transparent, be uh, uh, honest bef between you and God and be honest with yourself and be a person of integrity and be honest and speak out the truth and deal with your root issues. You know, uh, when you do that, I believe and declare that you will see God prosper you. Because if you conceal your issues, then you will not prosper. But if uh, you deal with it and say, God, I have all these issues, help me overcome it. And I'm telling you, God will help you do it as well. 
Amen. So I believe this message would have helped you, encouraged you, and uh, guided you on something that you need to look at or convicted you on some area of your life. But I don't want you to just leave it, but I want you to take time and ask God to uh, help you deal with this issue as well. And I believe uh, you got to like it, comment on it, share it uh, with those you think you need to uh, share. And do subscribe to my channel if you've not done it as well. So may God bless you. Amen. Thank you.